Hey everybody, this is Garrett with Sunrise Surf Shop. Welcome to episode number two of Test Drive. This episode we're going to be going over a small wave high performance board from Channel Islands. The board's called the Fred Stubble. Fred Stubble is a small wave high performance board. It has a short board outline, so really when you look at it at first, it kind of looks somewhat like a performance short board, other than the fact that it's a little wider in the nose and in the tail. A lot of the characteristics of the Fred Stubble compared to, say, the Fred Rubble is it has a much lower rocker in the nose, a lower rocker in the tail, and it has a pretty unique bottom um, in the sense that it has a really simple single concave where your front foot's going to be. The board goes down into a double concave in between the fins and a little bit of V off the tail. If you had to compare the Fred Stubble to some of the other models that Channel Islands has, um, once again, it was sort of derived off the Fred Rubble board. So I would really say it's probably a combination of a Fred Rubble and either a Neckbeard or a Dumpster Diver. It's really just a, a, a similar board that's just more compact and made to surf smaller, mushier waves. We're dealing with June conditions of Florida, so not a ton of surf out there today. Pretty small conditions, pretty mushy. Um, realistically, I should be out on a nine foot long board or you know, maybe even an SUP, but I really want to get this board out there and see how it'll go, see if I can make it work in some really mushy stuff. So let's head to the beach and take this thing for a test drive. Well, we just got back in from the surf, and as you guys are going to see, it was a struggle out there. Um, really, really tough conditions. The tide was full. The waves were as gutless as it could be. Way wider and rounder would be ideal. It was so, so gutless. But I will say I was impressed with how this board rode. Um, one characteristic that I really did notice is the concave in the center of the board being different from the concave under the fins, you can definitely feel a difference when you apply and kind of surf off your front foot. The board really, really excels through mushy parts of the wave. I mean, it will get going right through a flat spot. And as soon as you can put the pressure on your back foot and really sort of shift your weight and shift where you're surfing off, the board actually can fit in the pocket and turn incredibly well. So. Um, it's one of the few boards I've ridden where I can really notice a difference as, as far as feeling the bottom of the board. Say if you're one of those guys like me who doesn't want to ride an average Joe and isn't, you know, going to go get a baked potato or a high five or, or a puddle jumper, you don't want that round, fat nosed board. Um, I would recommend ordering a Fred Stubble and maybe doing what I did and just getting it an eighth to a quarter of an inch wider than stock for your size. Thanks everybody for tuning in to episode number two of Test Drive. Stay tuned for next month. We're going to do it again and hopefully we'll have a little more swell next time. <laughs>